So what's going on guys? Hogano here and um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on managing and making a group. I've been requested to do this some time ago. So yeah, let's get right into it. So what you want to do here is just, you know, casually just name your group. I'll just call this one Tester55 and then you could come here and just tell anyone what your group is about well I'm going to copy and paste something within here because this has a requirement of 50 or more characters so I'm going to do that now right here you could just you know get your location and whatnot and what your group focuses on you know art creation or common interest or whatever you know and your media and what's your group focus on but I, I don't think really like these these like matters so much because you can like also focus on different things even if you pick uh, digital media or whatever you could you know you know what I'm saying so you could you could have various different topics or folders when you're ma actually making the group so yeah we're just gonna click OK make the group here oh so the name was very taken okay the um okay let me just pause this video hold up and so we're back uh I so I found out this uh, error. I found out why I was getting this error, is because I've already made a group previously, so it wouldn't make me make a new one. So I guess, so that means that I can't be a founder of more than one group. So that's something to take note of. So you can't be a founder of more than one group, it seems. So we're just gonna go to the uh, previous group I made. I managed to like take out some of the stuff just to see to keep it original like the default group setting as is at least what I think what was the default group setting of this so uh, anyway it doesn't matter but anyway all, all of this is gonna change so right now so let's just say you wanted to like uh, edit your default screen from this to something else you could come down here to uh, you could come up here to edit pages and right here you can like download different widgets or methods to include in into your main group for example uh, what's most popular uh, for example a gallery folder so I, I don't think this is included by default so you I think you'll probably have to install it but um, yeah, I, I'd recommend that you download, I think, Gallery Lists. Yeah, and install now. Uh, just download any type of uh, rigid that you find interest in. So, you can download Customs. Uh, download something to uh, to notify wh what is your active member or newest members you can just play around you know download many of these things and a lot of these things and uh, you could download affiliations or you could connect to your Twitter it's it's whatever you're interested in really and um, there, there's these right here. I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure what they do. It, it just seems that you need a super group for that. So we're not going to deal with that at the moment. So uh, at at this moment, we're going to uh, just play around with this thing. So let's, let's just say that you wanted to arrange your features to become on the uh, the top left corner of your group. You just move that over here if you want. Uh, your gallery folders to come over here you could just move it here if you want to move your blog down here somewhere you could just move it here you just play around rearrange things a little you can make you could put your custom 
setting over here I custom is usually good to you know it's a good set it's a good way to make a setting for your uh, for your group it's like a, a good bio for your group or about what your group is about because the about us is really it doesn't have that many characters to you know type about what your group is really about but with this custom thing you can have as many um, characters as you want and it looks a lot more efficient so we're going to go back into our uh, main group again and you'll see that everything is organized the way we wanted it to be so features are going to be up here blog is going to be up down there and whatnot so we're going to click on done and as you can see feature blog custom is all set and ready to go um, so I'm going to be pausing this video to see if there's anything else hold up so uh, yeah before we move on I just want you to ex I just wanted to explain and show you visually that uh, custom just grants you a lot more flexibility so as you can see like a wider range of text you know you can put whatever image that you want you can just rename the title from custom to whatever so it, it grants you a lot of flexibility and so yeah you want to go for custom and <clears throat> to for the uh, folders now if you wanted to add more to your folder or group you just you could just come here add new folders and just name your folder art test to or whatever because if, if you're actually making a group you might want to just put traditional art digital art just whatever set of categories that you want or whatever your group is based on you just want to put these you know just for people to submit and whatnot. So now to invite people into the group, you want to come here to invite a friend. And right here, you can just invite whomever. So right here, you can, right here, yeah, you can invite whomever and you can set them to inv get invited to become co-founders like admins for your group or contributors or you know just your average members of the group so just let's say you wanted to go for members and I'll be sending an invitation to uh, I can't really send it to myself because I've already sent it to myself and uh, I don't have any friends on this account so uh, yeah but uh, one thing I want to uh, I want to warn you guys is when you're sending a uh, invitation to whomever to whoever you, you want to make sure that they will join the group because at this moment there is a type of group error in like there's this glitch within DeviantArt for groups that if you send like if you send like a whole bunch of invitations and they don't get an answer or even if they deny it for some reason there's going to be something within the coding of DeviantArt that prevents you from inviting more people so you want to be wary of that make sure the person that you're sending an invitation to accepts the invitation so yeah Moving on from that, uh, we are going to come here to uh, admin area, to the admin area, and go to manage members. Now, here is when, here is where you can, uh, you know, you know, decide the power of each individual within the group. So, right here, you know since you're a founder you can have you know full control if you want to or you can have some control you know you, you could just edit it right here and for this you can uh, this is for group affiliations right here you could just scroll down right here if if you want to like vote for some reason for group affiliations you can do that but generally most people just leave this part 
alone because you know founders they have full control I mean if you want to you know balance how if you want to balance the control that you have then you, you could do that but uh, for if you want to go to co-founders now they can have as many uh, they have uh, yeah they can also have as many opportunities as the founder has but they don't they won't be able to have at full control but they'll have some of the control so you can just come here to give them the ability to add or delete or whatnot and etc etc just scroll down just look at it if you want them to have full power you can make you can allow them to have full power or for the contributors as well you can do that the same and it's pretty much the same thing for each and every uh, 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 category of people that you see and right here for any deviant you could come here and you know set the rules and f f funny enough that they there's a drop down bar right here but they don't really allow just any deviant so to have full control of your group so I, I guess I mean you can set this to full to have a deviant have full control but why would you want to plus they're, they're not really allowing you to do so so you can't really do much with this so you know just look around here this is where you can block people if you want to but yeah and right here these are your logs you can just look at what you did you know I invited myself a while ago and you can just look at your log actions and whatnot and yeah so yeah I'm gonna pause the video see if there's anything else I want to cover and so um, we're gonna continue on from my official group so right here just minor ed edits minor tweakings like right here you can uh, select huge thumbnail or you could do small thumbnails and for the small thumb thumbnails you can select two four six eight or, or ten and for this right here you can select whenever an image appears at random so right now since I'm not selecting sing since I'm not selecting small thumbnails the two images won't appear since and since I'm selecting a huge thumbnail, only one image at random will appear. Or you can do a sit back slideshow. So, as of now, I'm going to show an example of it. And it's going to randomly generate one image. And the image is generated. So, another thing I want to show is, you know, moving around a set of artworks. So, right here to just move around a set of artworks to rearrange them in a folder and whatnot you just want to come here and go to copy to or move to whatever folder that you want it to move into and right here you'll have a select few of folders that I have selected here that I have made here you could send this to whatever if you want you know or you can copy it and usually people don't really copy into different like folders like this unless it's featured some people use copy for that method so yeah gonna pause the video gonna see if there's anything else I want to cover so I think I pretty much covered everything except some minor stuff if you want to like send a, 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 a uh, if you want to send a note to a person from the group's perspective you could just come here and uh, if you want to send an affiliation to a group you can just come right here you type in the group's name here and then they check it and then you just send a request affiliation to the group of whatever so that that's pretty much it about making a group so if this help if this video helped you please leave a like comment and subscribe and I'll be seeing you guys later with another video coming soon sometime.